Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine, Sam Adams, Sam Adams, Sam Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin. These men spoke up for what they thought was right. From their courage came such documents as the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. From their willingness to speak what was sometimes unpopular but right, we enjoy such liberties as freedom of speech, the right to keep and bear arms, and freedom of religion. There are those who still wish to oppress our freedoms, and there are still patriots willing to stand up and defend life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Men like Zeb Bell, who honor our founding fathers and what they stood for. It's now time for Zeb at the ranch, speaking up and defending your freedoms. Brought to you by Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers and all of the other great advertisers on the program. And now, Zeb Bell. Sheriff Jer- Joe Arpaio. I almost said Jerry. That's not correct, Zeb. Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County, Arizona, said these words and how true they are. A liberal's paradise would be a place where everybody has guaranteed employment, free comprehensive health care, free education, free food, free housing, free clothing, free utilities, and only law enforcement has guns. And believe it or not, such a place does indeed already exist exist it's called prison (laughs) right on joe right on hey here comes kate smith and god bless america good morning on a thursday beautiful day outside god's really blessed us today hey we need a patriot with the pledge of allegiance call in Oh, there she is. Thank you, Kate Smith. Exit stage left. I appreciate that. Excellent. God bless America. Welcome to Zeb at the Ranch. I'm Zeb Bell with our major sponsor, your Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers. All seven locations serving you. Stop in and see them today. Along with some of our great advertisers, including Western Way Services, always at your disposal. Get on the route service, 734-6969. And right now, let's not go any further without our Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. Good morning, sir. It's you again. It is me again. Going over the cliff. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you were there to save me. I was just thinking about the whole five minutes after we got off the phone. All right, buddy. Give us a pledge, please. All righty. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That a boy, Wheels. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, right now, let's go to the weather. And the weather is brought to you by Cheney Flooring and Home Design. We're going to be talking to them a little bit later on this morning. Uh, Whitney's going to be on the phone with us. And don't forget, they've got all your new flooring. Tile, wood, carpet, everything in all the varieties and colors to choose from. And that is really going to increase the value of your home. Cheney Flooring and Home Design 1228 Oakley Avenue in Burley. Look for the blue door and give them a call. 678-6945. Here's Gina with the weather. Today and tomorrow going to be nice, but Saturday not so much. Here's your wet forecast for Zebit the Ranch. Looks like sunny skies for today. A little bit on the breezy side. Not too bad. Winds out of the northeast right around 8 miles an hour. High of 53 is what we're expecting for today. Tonight low of 29. Tomorrow gorgeous. Mostly sunny skies, high close to 60, winds out of the east, right around 11 miles an hour. Expect an overnight low of 36. Now, Saturday, everything is going to change. Winds going to be picking up to about 30 miles an hour, so we'll probably be in a wind advisory for Saturday. Morning rain showers as well. Expect a high of 50 with an overnight low of 32. Partly cloudy and 57 for Sunday with winds dying down. And then, of course, on Monday, winds picking up again to about 25 miles out of the west, partly cloudy and 46. Yesterday's high was 48, and the overnight low was 24. That's your weather for Zebit the Ranch. The weather lady. Thank you very much, Gina. I appreciate it. Brought to you by Gini Flooring and Home Design, 1228 Oakley Avenue in Burley. Merv May, come on in here. Let's sell some cattle. Where are you? All right. 
Oh, that's the chant of what I think is the world's best auctioneer. He can chant for those cattle, I'll tell you. Merv May, Cade Rogge, Lance Udy, all of them at Burley Livestock Sale Yard. 1100 Occidental Avenue in Burley. And the number to call for consignment and information on the sale, 678-9411. And sale time today at 1030. Here's just a little bit of the run that's coming in today. The Rose Ranch out at Park Valley bringing in 65 head of light calves. H.D. Dunn up at Tetonia bringing in a semi-low to mixed cattle. Jared Schrank over to Declo. Hello, Jared, 39 head of four to 500 pounders. And the Split Butte Ranch. David, get on the ball. Load them up over at Minidoka bringing in 40 head of calves. Val Skidmore of Antelope bringing in 35 head of calves. David Bell, Albion, 42 head of five to 700 pounders. Mike Schlunt. Mike, how are you? you doing anyway i heard you've had some health problems we wish you the best he's bringing in 20 head of steers and jeff sessions over to stravel is bringing in 80 head of four to five hundred pound calves Woo! gonna be a good sale today at the burley livestock sale yard 1100 occidental avenue in burley 678-9411 sale time 10 30 merv sell those steers all right I wish that would be a good bottom to get on those prices, I'll tell you. Hey, by the way, I want to remind you, uh, to, let's see, Saturday. Saturday, I almost said the wrong day. Saturday is going to be a special day over in Paul at Magic Valley Tires Les Schwab. That's right. Sir Max and the rest of the outfit are going to have that great big chili cook-off and free chili feed. <laughs> no energy shortage over in Paul. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to have the judging on the chili at about 1030, and then at 11 they're going to start serving the chili with cinnamon rolls. Oh, knock your boots off. Delicious. And for the chili cook-off, there's going to be first, second, and third prize winners. So don't forget, for more information, contact my buddy Max at 438-8444. That's happening at Magic Valley Tires Les Schwab in Paul this Saturday. Don't you miss it. Uh, also, I want to quickly remind you, too, about Ramsey Heating and Electric. Hello, Ramsey's. A little bit later on this morning, Rita's going to be on the program with us, as she is every Thursday. Ramsey Heating and Electric, that's just it right there. They tell you what they do, heating and electric. And by golly, they provide warm winters and cool summers. They've got all your heating and electric needs, and all you have to do, like if you know what you need, you know what you got to have, call them at 678 It'll be on the counter waiting for you. I guarantee it. They're open 7.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. Great folks, and they've been a stalwart of this program for many, many years. Ramsey Heating and Electric 2600, Overland Avenue in Burley. Uh, one thing, too, that needs to be said quickly before I get into my news this morning is that today is Lunch Bunch Day. Ta -da 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 -da. I'm too cheap to hire the band, but... Anyway, today's Lunch Bunch Day, and everybody that goes to Lunch Bunch Day today is going to get a free Valentine special treat on Goober and I. Yep, we're going to treat you all. And uh, we want to remind you, it's at Denny's Restaurant, 611 Overland in Burley. The food is tremendous. I love eating there. And the service, the friendly people, it's America's Diner. Yeah, it is, at 611 Overland in Burley. And they've also got another great location at 291 Pole Line in Twin Falls. And don't forget, it's Lunch Bunch Day today. And oh my goodness, don't forget, let's thank our gift certificate donors for the door prizes. Walmart, you bet, and Hanson Mortuary. Thank you very much. Denny's Restaurant, 611 Overland in Burley. Mm, that's good food over there. We have some birthdays today. 
Let's see. I believe that Eddie DeNoggle is having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Eddie. And I understand that Lorna Arbogast is going to have a birthday on Saturday. Happy birthday to Lorna. And tomorrow, an anniversary to Dawn and Dave Zanino, two really wonderful special friends of ours. Dawn and Dave Zanino having their anniversary tomorrow. So, happy birthday. And happy anniversaries to everybody this morning. There you go. All right, calls are welcome. 436 2244 1866 927 4587. Hey, old Zach, if you're listening over there at Minicasha City, what a good guy. I mean, I just love his family. I love what he's doing over there at Minicasha Sales, 1321 East Main Street in Burley. Right across from the airport, as a matter of fact. And the number to call, 878-2091. You got a little money coming back from Uncle Sam that took it in the first place on your tax returns? Well, if you're going to do a little remodeling on your house, they've got all the lumber packages for you to choose from. Seriously, everything. And if you're going to be remaking and redoing your roof, they've got all that for you. Upgrading your windows with the western windows. I'm telling you, it's all there at Minicasha Sales, 1321. On East Main Street in Burley, and they bring you Dr. History on Tuesdays at 10.06. You know, I'm not picking about this. I'm being honest. I'm not nitpicking. Hillary Clinton, after all of her years in politics and government, as a shadow figure to hubby Bill, she's still not a very smart woman. And she absolutely does not understand, and this is what's a little bit more than disconcerting for me, and it should be for you too. She does not understand what our Constitution says and what it does. And in the last few days, she's been on an anti-gun rant. I worry about this woman. I know that from unimpeachable sources that she has looked into and studied the Australian gun confiscation and gun control laws. And I'll tell you what, folksies, hold on to the gun, because if she gets elected to president, as the president, we're going to see a mess. Well, she made a real mess of what the Constitution says and doesn't say in the last couple of days. And uh, she had the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution all confused. That, by the way, is the word that her handlers, like at a dog show, her handlers said she just got confused in the heat of a question and answer period. Uh Uh-huh. Basically, I'll go back to what I said earlier, Hillary is not very smart. What she came out and was talking about was the Second Amendment in our Constitution that says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And then she made an adjacent statement to that and said, oh, but still in our Constitution it says that people have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Constitution guarantees that. No, it does not, Hillary. The Declaration of Independence has those words. Two entirely different documents that a person running for president should know. And she didn't. And and I'll give you another example of stupidity. Of people shooting their uh, great big shotgun mouth off before their BB gun brain is engaged. And it's Doug Gottlieb a CBS network basketball analyst, and he's against guns all the way. Listen to what he said. Quote, I'm not sure how many people understand our right to bear arms is not in our Constitution. It is an amendment to the document. Well, Doug, 
How can you be so stupid? And I'm going to send him an email like this, too. Because if you look up the wording exactly as it is in our Constitution, amendments to the Constitution of the United States of America. You know, the whole point I'm getting at here, folks, is that people that are involved in possible very high leadership positions... People that are involved in very high influential positions, such as Gottlieb on television and everything else. Why don't they really understand and know what the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence really say? And I'll go back to what I said a moment ago. They will be the first ones to get up on their soapbox, their high moral soapbox and go after you and me and say, you can't own guns, you got to give them up, yeah, blah, 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 just another bunch of balderdash. And then make direct quotes to the Constitution of words that aren't even in there. It's discouraging, and it's very disconcerting that these people that are running for office don't know the Constitution. Calls are welcome, 436-2244-1866-927-4587. Oh, don't we can on me on a day like this? Oh, my good! I wish that was broadcasting out on the deck. This is a beautiful morning out there this morning. Let's see. How, what's my temperature over here? i got to check that quick before I make too many allegations about moving out. Uh, it says 26. Nope. Stay inside right here. It's fine. Uh, Burley Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation, 1263 Bennett Avenue, Suite 2 in Burley, helping you get back to being you. Yep, they've got all the exercises for you. I know I went through a gamut, a wide range of exercises. Nick Greenwell and his great physical therapy staff, they can help you. Exercises, sports therapy, along with all the hydrotherapy pool, the only one of its kind with the treadmill in the bottom. Oh my, they are good. Burley Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation. Call today for an appointment 6781191 caller good morning you're on the air Zeb, uh, you know i think all of this is a uh, as a result of our uh, education system and if our education system was doing what it should be doing uh, when i was in school we learned these things and I don't know where these people went to school. I appreciate the time. Thank you. No, no, hang on a second. Let, answer this question for me. Hillary Clinton is of our generation, so there's no excuse for that woman that is running for president to be that absolutely naive and, quite frankly, dumb. Is there? Well, <laughs> I just shake my head over some of these people. <laughs> well, it, it, you... I, <laughs> I don't, you know, I guess it's because I've sat at the table with with a lot of them uh, concerning other issues in the environmental community. And I just, I'm flabbergasted at where they come from. Well, you know, and what's really disconcerting to me, my dear friend, is that here right now, she is the front runner of the Democratic Party. And for a woman that has been exposed to politics all of her life as an activist and then also as a wife to Wild Bill, good heavens, and she's not any smarter than that? What are we getting? I know. I agree with you. Well... <laughs> I agree with you. Well, I can tell you what we're going to get if she's elected. <laughs> and just watch out. Yeah, I agree with you. Hey, my dear friend, God bless you. Thank you for your call. Thank you very much. You know, the American public and the onus is on us. You say, well, wait a minute. Why is the onus on us, Zebra? Well, the reason is we're not holding their feet to the fire. When we hear dumb things like this... No, it's not a faux pas. Don't give me that as an excuse. Oh, it wasn't because Hillary was confused. Don't give me that. 
You know, with all their handlers, and believe me, they've got handlers, you know, I, I use the word handler like at a dog show. Well, quite frankly, I think there's a lot of similarity. But when their people address the press after they make these silly, absolutely asinine statements and try to regroup and regather everything and put out more of a sales pitch, well, she was just confused. In the heat of the question and answer period, Hillary just got confused. Come on, please. America, wake up and start holding these people to what they say and also their actions. She didn't get confused. I'm just going to come right out and say it. She's just plain dumb. Anybody that's been in politics for her life like she has, she knows or should know what the Constitution says. And you know what? I would put money on the table right now. Right now. That if Hillary Clinton was sitting in front of me, and to be fair and balanced, many of the politicians running today, and I asked them maybe questions about maybe the Second Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, maybe Amendment 10, whatever, they wouldn't have a clue. They wouldn't have a clue. Calls are welcome, 436-224-1-866-927-4587. Come on, give me a call. Maybe you don't agree with me, but I don't believe in having common mistakes like that. Caller, I'll be right there, I promise. Don't get nervous. Barry Equipment and Rental, they have the equipment to get the job done right. All the equipment. I mean, they've got all the Bobcat skid steer loaders, the Bobcat equipment. They've got all the Coyote tractors and the various sizes. They've got the big deuce on loaders. And, of course, this time of the year, think about those walker mowers. It's going to be outside mowing pretty soon. Hey, I'll tell you what, they can help you. So stop in whether you're buying or leasing. Addison Avenue, Weston. Twin Falls, South Lincoln, and Jerome, and 159 West Highway 30 in Burley, Barry Equipment and Rental. Thank you, caller. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah, that, Bob. There's been never in any time, if you studied Hillary Clinton's life, there was never ever a time when it was something that she saw necessary. Uh, I mean, she was... Uh, she was out there. I mean, she was an Olympsky student, so to speak. And so she has been all over the map. Yeah, but let me... I remember, remember she had something to do with Watergate and oh, yeah. prosecution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she's just... When, when, seriously, when has she ever cared enough? It's nothing but an obstacle to them. Yeah, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, Randy. Answer this for me. And you you listen and you study and you perceive what's going on in politics and news. If I, you and I have been friends for a long time. And if I got on the air tomorrow or Monday and I made a statement that was absolutely off the wall, stupid, non-researched, etc., would you have very much respect for my program from then on because of a complete lack of the truth on information? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't quit listening. No, 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 but yes or no, you'd probably, if I said something as stupid as uh, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness being right in our Constitution, and you sat there and you go, no, it's not, Zeb, you would probably start to question other things I put out as fact on my program. Would you not? Well, I guess so. But you see, okay, quickly, anymore, it seems like lying... Now, I'm not saying this is, applies to you at all, because this isn't the case. But Obama's been lying to us from day one, or before he even was elected. And she's lied like you're so tomorrow. I agree. And, and, and politicians lie, but the two, the most heinous liars of all are Obama and, and Clinton, Hillary. And so, I, and nobody seems to care anymore about the truth. I agree with it, that. It matters out here where the rubber meets the road when you're dealing with clients and it matters there, but as far as our politicians, 
They're all such slime balls. You just, you're sick to death of it. Good way to wrap it up right there, Randy. Thank you for your call as always, buddy. I thank you. Yeah, All right. Hey, caller, I know you're waiting, but I'm going to ask you your indulgence, your patience. Sit there, twiddle your thumbs for about 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Stand by. Don't forget Mount Harrison Audiology, Dr. Christine Pickup. I'm going to be going over there, as a matter of fact, this afternoon. And I heartily suggest you call for an appointment for a hearing screening in case you're not hearing everything. It might be health-related. It could be any number of one of the uh, items that might be causing you to have an effect on your hearing. Please go over and take my advice. And they're located right across from the Minidoka Hospital Emergency Room. The number to call for an appointment, 312-0957. Mount Harrison Audiology and Hearing Aids, you call today. Thank you, caller. Go ahead, please. They tried to get me to sign that, and I wasn't supposed to. Hey, wait a minute. Are you talking to me or somebody else? Somebody else. Well, hurry up and come on in the air. This is a radio program, not a conversation at the office. What can I do for you? Well, I wanted to say that I think all the politicians know exactly what the Fifth Amendment is when their feet get hot. Okay. You think so? Sure. Okay. Why don't the, then why don't they uh, why don't they the politicians understand really the verbiage when they're out running for the position as high as it ever is in the world the president of the United States? Because their feet aren't hot yet. When their feet get hot, they go to the Fifth Amendment, declare uh, declare their innocence. Yeah, but wait a minute. You can use that as an excuse, and I really am agreeing with you, but here the handlers come out and they say, oh, well, she got confused because of the heat of the question and answer session. She just overran a little bit. How do you ever make an excuse like that? Because she's lying from the word go. That I can't argue with. <laughs> I agree with you. Thank you for your call this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, this really bothers me, though, uh, not only just with Hillary. There have been many others. There's been Hollywood actors that have gone on there and got up on their activist position and podium. And you've heard them, you know, like Sean Penn and some of the others. And they'll make absolutely stupid statements. And you got to scratch your head a little bit if you really are listening to them. And you go, whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not true. But nobody corrects them at the time. I honestly believe that when they have press conferences at the White House, and I don't care if it's Obama, I don't care if it's the Secretary of State Kerry, I don't care who it is, when they make a faux pas, a misstatement, or a calculated misstatement, somebody in the press corps, somebody in the room should raise their hand and say, Mr. President, that is not correct. Th this idea, and I don't know where this idea came from, that being a president or a secretary of state holds them at a level above to where they can't be corrected. That is not the way it should be. When you have, and I don't care if it's Ronald Reagan, I don't care if it's Bill Clinton, I don't care if it's George Bush, I don't care if it's our so-called President Barack Obama. When they make mistakes or make declaratory sentences and statements that are incorrect and wrong, they need to be corrected. And none of this, oh, well, I'll wait, uh, I'll send him a memo, or maybe an email, or maybe I'll get a hold of one of his handlers and tell them that there was an error there. No! I think, and Obama's done this quite a bit. The They call them Pinocchio statements, you know, where they've checked the truthfulness, etc., uh, remember the deal at the State of the Union address a couple of years ago with the Supreme Court and there was a misstatement by Obama? I honestly think that the Supreme Court should have held up their hands and said, President Obama, that's incorrect! The American public deserves, as the first three words of the Constitution, we the people, they deserve to have honest and factual representations of what is going on in government and what the truths are. 
And I don't think any elected official, any elected official, is above reproach when it comes to giving misinformation or falsehoods. They should be corrected at the time. We deserve that. Your thoughts. Give me a call. i got to pay some bills here quick. Give me a call, please. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you don't agree, but I honestly think they get a free pass because of their position. And that's wrong. There is going to be a ripping good bull sale on March 5th at the Burley Livestock Sale Yard. It is going to be the 21st annual Sheridan Ranch Bull Sale. Oh, man, I mean, they've got good cattle. That's it. They've got good cattle. Sheridan Ranch Bull Sale, Cordell and Patty Sheridan. Oh, my goodness. Number to call for more information, 824-5531. And they're also going to have a guest consigner, Deep Creek Ranch, Dennis and Cindy Tim. The Sale is going to be March 5th, starting at 1 p.m., Burley Livestock Sale Yard, and lunch is going to be provided at noon. And, by the way, free delivery on these bulls up to 300-mile radius of Burley. 85 bulls are going to sell. Don't miss it. That's going to be on March 5th. Sheridan Ranch Bull Sale. Don't miss it. Really nice people, too. Um, let's see, i got one other thing to mention. I lost my cheat sheet here all of a sudden. Oh, yes, I want to remind Doug is there. Yeah, oh, Uncle Doug is at the business this morning. Doug's alternator and starter repair at 635 21st Street, which is Alfresco Road. I bite my tongue almost every other day on Alfresco. I don't know why. Over in Hayburn. And the number to call, 878-4991. It used to be called Ted's Diesel Electric Service. Doug bought it back in 09, and now it's changed. Changing the name to Doug's Alternator and Starter Repair. Same great service, just a different name. He can rebuild starters, alternators, and generators, and sells brand new ones, too. Doug's Alternator and Starter Repair in Hayburn. You stop over and see him today. All right, give me a call, 436-224-1866-927-4587. This next story... <laughs> I got up this morning and went out in the living room and uh, had a cup of coffee. And then my wonderful, not fattening, brand flakes. And while I was sitting there, I couldn't. I, I was trying to take notes on various things I was going to talk about this morning. And a story came up on the screen. And I admit, I do not have all the very fine points of the story, but I got the gist of it. And listen to this. There was a young woman, a millennial-aged young woman, that lost her job because she was really out involved in activism. Now, follow me on this. So, she didn't have any money coming in, and she received an eviction notice. So, she goes on PayPal... And she's soliciting money from you and me and us to pay her rent so she can keep on being an activist. Let that soak in just for a little bit. Yeah, kind of like a hot cup of coffee. Just savor that taste for a moment and think about it. She wants you and me, us, to pay her rent... So she can keep on being an activist and not have to hold down a job. You might say there is something wrong with this picture. Give me a call, 436-224-1866-927-4587. I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> the world is nuts. Oh, my goodness sakes, don't forget, a little bit later on this morning, we're going to be talking to Dr. Conrad over at Urgent Care of Twin Falls and also Jerome and Burley. They are having a grand opening on uh, next Monday at the new location of Urgent Care of Twin Falls at 2392 Addison Avenue East in Twin, right by Kmart and Harley-Davidson. Holy smokes, it's going to be phenomenal and very accessible for you. That's right, walk-ins, no appointments necessary, very quick, less expensive, better options. Oh my goodness, 
Urgent Care of Twin Falls. And we're going to be talking to Dr. Conrad about it in the next hour. And they're located at 2392 Addison Avenue East in Twin Falls with the grand opening on Monday. Your thoughts. Give me a jingle on the landline, 436-224-1866-927-4587. Let me ask you this, folks. Um, a lot of people already are sick and tired of politics. Well, you got a lot more coming at you. But do you think uh, that the big debate tonight, and I hope... This will be the last debate for the top five. I hope we see a weeding out, and I'd like to see, honestly, I'd like to see at least two or three go by the wayside. I would. It's time to call them out. But now Mitt Romney has got into the fray. And I think it's bad. I just I've always had a lot of respect for Mitt Romney, for who he is how he acts, what he says, and what he does. But he was on Neil Cavuto's program yesterday, and I thought he got to the point where he was a little bit more than tacky uh, in the denigration and his hopeful thoughts of destruction of Donald Trump's candidacy. And uh, he said, I think, frankly, I think we have good reason to believe there's a bombshell in Donald Trump's taxes. Well, a lot of you might not think that's too bad, but you know, I just think that they're using every position they can to go after and totally disrupt and discard Donald Trump's possible candidacy to be the President of the United States. Now, do you think about this just for a second. Give me a call and tell me I'm all wet. (laughs) A lot of you will call and tell me that anyway. But uh, do you think that Donald Trump will run the primary table and then when they go to the GOP convention as the number one numero uno man, the GOP establishment is going to say, "Uh uh-uh. And they, the GOP establishment, will draft someone else at the convention. And possibly they, the GOP, at that juncture, will create a three-person race. Trump, the GOP pick or the draft, against Hillary. And I'll tell you what I think at that point. Tell me I'm all wet here that the split vote will put Hillary in the office of presidency. I'm worried sick about that. What do you think? Give me a call, 436-224-1866-927-4587. While I'm waiting for your call that I know is coming in, I want to remind you. Caller, thank you. I'll be right there. i got to get the weather on quick. Sit there calmly. Uh, don't forget Mad River Laser, 502 East Street in Rupert. Oh, my goodness. They've got all your promotional products. Let me tell you something. They offer a wide range range of attention-grabbing items that are going to really put forth and promote your business. I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with Mad River Laser, and whatever they make, it's going to be first class for you. Believe me, all your business promotional products, custom promotional items, corporate gifts, everything, awards and trophies, it's all there at Mad River Laser, 502 E Street in Rupert. And right now, here's Gina with the weather. Today and tomorrow going to be nice, but Saturday, not so much. Here's your wet forecast for Zebit the Ranch. Looks like sunny skies for today. A little bit on the breezy side, not too bad. Winds out of the northeast right around 8 miles an hour. High of 53 is what we're expecting for today. Night low 29 tomorrow. Gorgeous. Mostly sunny skies. High close to 60. Winds out of the east right around 11 miles an hour. Expect an overnight low of 36. Now, Saturday, everything is going to change. Wind's going to be picking up to about 30 miles an hour, so we'll probably be in a wind advisory for Saturday. Morning rain showers as well. Expect a high of 50 with an overnight low of 32. Partly cloudy and 57 for Sunday with winds dying down. And then, of course, on Monday, wind's picking up again to about 25 miles out of the west. Partly cloudy and 46. 
Yesterday's high was 48. The overnight low was 24. That's your weather for Zebeth Ranch. Oh, she does a great job on the weather. Thank you, weather lady, Gina. Appreciate that. Mad River Laser, 502 East Street in Rupert. Oh, are they talented. Stop in and see them today. Caller, thank you very much for your patience. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Zeb, I can barely, barely hear you. Wheels. Barely, but. All right, uh, hold on a second, ma'am, ma'am, hold on. Wheels, turn that up a little bit so she can hear me. Go ahead, lady, please. Okay, I have a few thoughts on this Donald Trump thing and the Mitt Romney thing and everything all combined. I would love to see Mitt Romney run. I, I, I truly would. Uh, but at this point, he's not, and so that's beside the point. I would die a thousand deaths if... Donald Trump got the nomination simply because I think that he is a salesman, not a statesman. I don't think there's anything presidential about him. I think he's talked out of both sides of his mouth for so long that his his mouth is just big. I I there's nothing I like about Donald Trump, nothing. And so I would prefer Mitt Romney over him. However, this whole idea of splitting the the um, Republican vote. That already happened last time with Mitt Romney because the GOP would not throw themselves behind Mitt Romney. They always, they, they just never would. And there was, um, um, there were all those people who wouldn't vote for him because he was a Mormon and he was a, because he was a businessman and because and because and because. And it was idiocy. It was pure idiocy. They just, they handed the, the White House to Obama on a silver platter because of that. And so my thinking is, is that if Donald Trump does get the nomination, by heck, even people like me who can't stand him had better get our, ourselves together and do everything in our power to get him elected. Because even if I despise the man, he's a million times better than Hillary or Bernie. You know what? I got to compliment you that that was the best 60-second dissertation I've heard in a long time, and you absolutely have solidified my point. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, you have a good morning. I will. That was well said and well stated, and she's right on every single thing she said. Caller, good morning. You're on the air. This is Ruth Freefart, isn't she? Uh, talk up a little louder, would you please? Thank you very much. Yeah, my little sister is pretty smart, isn't she? Oh, was that your little sister? It was. And I agree with everything she said, and I have a couple of other things from topics previous. Okay. A couple of analogies for you. One of them is about um, Hillary and her faux pas, if you want to call it that. Uh-huh. It's, it's like this. Um, you've got people out there who are so dumb, they've never picked the Constitution up and read it. So it's like, you've got electrical problems at your house, so you go get the plumber. <laughs> because, you know, if you want electrical problems fixed, so if you're, if you're so dumb, you don't know the Constitution, pick it up. Don't trust everything Hillary says or any other politician says just because they said it. Yeah, but wait a minute. Stop right there. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me ask you a question there real quick. Pardon my rudeness of interrupting, but I want to make a point. There was a caller earlier that I think brought up an excellent point about that, and I'm going to put, in, uh, put the onus on our education system. I think they've got away from really teaching the Constitution. Would you agree with that? I would, because uh, I've heard of schools that have dropped... Well, we can't have the sciences and the, and the histories anymore because we've got too many other things we need to teach our kids. Now, we need to get to back to the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and skip a lot of this other crap that goes on in school. Well, you know, the Constitution and what it does, what it says, and what it provides for this, the greatest country in the world, it's just not excusable for me to sit here and listen to someone like Hillary Clinton that has been around politics all of her life use the excuse that she got confused. Oh, it was a bump on her head. I'm surprised they didn't use that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, to the big sister, thanks for your call this morning. Oh, hey, wait, I got another analogy. Oh, okay, good, go ahead. Okay, this has to do with immigration. We're going to equate citizenship, or let's see, living in the United States with the Super Bowl. And you've got all the people who are doing it right. They're standing in line, buying the tickets, and somebody opens the back gate and lets all of the illegal aliens in, and when the Super Bowl ticket holders get in there, 
uh, yeah, the, the arena only holds X amount of people, but when they get in there, they find their seats taken and all of the stairs and everything else, and so there's no place for them. So, yeah, the Super Bowl's kind of like citizenship, if you want to call it that. And yet the illegal aliens come through the back gate that somebody left unlocked. You know what? You two gals are really sharp. I appreciate your call. You made my whole day today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. I like that. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Yes, Ed, I have to apologize. I'm out of the state. I haven't been listening to what you've been talking about, but I just was listening to another a radio show out of Boise, and they're talking about repealing the extra registration on these hybrid vehicles. And and uh, this jockey asked the guy, I said, what, what's the purpose of that? And he says, well, the representatives in different counties have been getting inundated by the callers, complaining about the people from the people that have bought hybrids, but the registrations have gone up so much, and they're not getting real good fuel mileage. And so, can you and I, Colin Six, start complaining that our registrations are too high, our fuel mileage has not gone up? We want our, we want to go back to the seventies and, and get our registration back from the seventies. Well, let me make sure I understand. Let me make sure I understand what side of the fence you're walking on here. I absolutely think that people that have hybrid vehicles that are not pay, uh, buying and purchasing the fuel and paying the taxes that I am, they should have an increased rate that makes it fair and equitable to what I'm paying and what you're paying. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. But they're complaining because some of these hybrids are not getting what the dealers or the manufacturer promise on the sticker. And so they're not getting the fuel mileage. And so now they're buying the gas that you and I are buying. Yeah. Yeah. And now, uh, the people that are buying these hybrids, Deb, aren't they the one that's jammed this ethanol down our throats and jammed all this green energy down our throats? And now they're complaining, oh, our registration has gone up. We don't want to pay that. Are they dictating to our legislation and our government? Absolutely, and I think any repeal of that is asinine. What's going on? Well, I agree with you, and I think that it's got to be a fair and equitable situation. And I remember I've talked to Representative Fred Wood about this. I've talked to Speaker of the House Scott Bedge about this, etc. And I think if you're going to make it balance on the scales so that it's fair for all people, those folks that have the electric cars, the hybrids, etc., they've got to have a situation where they're paying comparable to what I'm paying and what you're paying at the pump and fuel taxes. If not, all I can say to those folks is poor baby. Well, and I agree, but it sounds like to me that they are going to repeal that. It's in front of the in front of them and they're gonna repeal that so that them guys don't have to. When you talk to Fred next time Ask him what's going on up there. I was a matter of fact the mine reduced back down. Mine has jumped up horrendous to start rebuilding these roads and these bridges. Well the hybrid I run it down the road just as much as what I am. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, I, I'll even I'll do one better than that. I'll have a special deal on this Monday at ten oh six for the legislative session. I'll make sure we highlight that, okay? I appreciate it. I'm sorry about getting so loud, but I'm I get boisterous and it, this this infuriates me. No, don't you worry about apologizing. I'm glad you called on this. I'm glad you called. God bless you and I I'll take it on Monday and we'll have an answer, all right? Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I, I've heard this argument before. Some of these crybabies who buy the hybrids and everything or the electric cars. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, listen, it's got to be a fair and equitable situation. You're using the roads like I am. You should pay the same comparably as to what I'm paying on fuel taxes. Don't like it? <laughs> Poor baby. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at what's going on at the Founders Celebration. I'll be right with you, caller. Don't go away at your Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers with Lane and Rupert, Dave on Blue Lakes and Twin, Mike and Buell, Mike and Jerome, the Twist family and Paul, John on Pole Line in Twin Falls, and my buddy Randy on Overland and Burley. Yes, in honor of Mr. Les Schwab, the Founders Celebration Sale going on. All kinds of tires for your cars, pickups, SUVs, etc. on sale. Along with checkout, great, great 
great discounts on custom wheels and and don't forget the very best in brake service with professionally trained technicians front end alignments it's all there shocks and struts batteries everything at the best your magic valley les schwab tire centers you stop in and see them today caller thank you go ahead you're on the air Yes, uh, the lady who called in was, you know, uh, didn't like Donald Trump, but said that we need to vote for him is right. Now, think of it this way. What has Obama done to help the people? Not one thing that really is going to help anybody. Seriously. I mean, even his own race has just been shuffled into the bottom of the deck, and they're suffering dearly, and uh, it's, it's, it's boldly evident that he just couldn't have cared less about them. Now, if Donald Trump just seals the border and, 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 and changes the way we do business with other countries, that alone is worth, you know, electing him for. So, we've got to win. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Lindsey Graham would be better than Hillary. Not much. <laughs> you see, John Kasich would be better than Hillary. I, I, we have got to win. In, in this November, on Tuesday night, at around 8 or 9 o'clock at the night, if Donald Trump wins, I'm going to dance a jig. But if he loses, I'm going to go, just how much longer can we suffer through the insanity of, of Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders. There is no logic to anything they say. I couldn't have said it better to end this hour. Thank you, Randy. God bless you, man, for your call. Very well stated. We're going to take a little break right now. Don't forget you're listening to Zeb at the Ranch. Make sure you're hearing everything. Contact Mount Harrison Audiology for a hearing screening. Call them at 312-0957. We'll be back in six minutes. Don't go away. Wheels, take it away. Oh, welcome back to hour number two on a Thursday. Zeb Bell, Zeb at the Ranch, and our major sponsor, your Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers, all seven locations serving you wonderful people, along with some of our great advertisers like Western Way Services. From the Canyons of the Snake River and the La Crosse Southern Idaho, we're always the Georgia Central, Western Way Oh, my, they are good and very nice people. Locally owned and operated, Western Way Services, always at your disposal. Call the route number to get on the route service, 734-6969. They'll come get your garbage once a week. It's gone. It's out of there. Nicest people in the world to work with. Please take my advice. Western Way Services, always at your disposal. Mm-mm, good folks. By the way, I <clears throat> cheated on my diet a little bit during the news. Yeah, I did. Deanne makes the best zucchini bread. And she made some last night. And it was in the oven. I could smell that. And I kept hinting like, boy, it sure smells good in here. And then this morning I knew I had to have another piece of that. And I said, well, I got time. I've got time during the news. So if I sound choked up all of a sudden, it's because I like the zucchini bread. Pardon me. Um, also want to take the time real quick to say thank you very much to Handsome Mortuary at 710 6th Street and Rupert, Joel Heward, his staff, his family, all of those good people serving you. <clears throat> Excuse me, serving is the key word. Absolutely, with the highest ethical standards, with unquestioned integrity. You know, when there's the passing of a loved one, they can help you with all the arrangements and really help you dot all the I's and cross all the T's because it's a very tumultuous time. Time, work with the people that really care. Hanson Mortuary, 710 6th Street in Rupert, the number to call, 436 5636. Time now for the Chamber of Commerce report, and today we have the lovely Heather on the line. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Zeb. How are you today? 
should. And yourself? If I was any better, I couldn't stand it. So what is going on over in the land of happy smiles at the Chamber of Commerce? Well, currently right now we have our photo contest going on. So anybody, it doesn't matter if you're professional or amateur, we are looking for photos of the mini Kaja area. Okay. And they will be um, reviewed and previewed into our upcoming guide to mini Kaja that we will be printing. Oh, that and sounds like a neat deal. And we'll be giving full credit to the photographers. All right. Now, what do they do? Uh, do they have to be a certain size? Do you have to have them in at a certain time? Or what's going on there? We do have a deadline um, by April 8th, and if you would like more details on it, just give our office a call and we will send you all the information. Very good. And the number is? 679-4793. Okay, now that's for photos, and that's a great idea. I like that. I've got a couple I think I'll submit. Uh, what else is going on? Some um, One other thing that we have going on is we are currently taking reservations for booth space at our Women's Seminar and Expo for April 28th. Oh, my. How many years have you been putting that on? Oh, you know, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the history. But, you know, it's been a real productive event and just seems like it's getting bigger every year, right? It is, and the committee that puts this together really puts, you know, a lot of thought and heart into every detail of these seminars. So give us the date and uh, what they can do. Now, you're talking about booth space for possibly uh, various businesses that primarily cater to women. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, so the date is April 28th. Mm -hmm. so go ahead and save that on your calendar to make sure that you're paying attention as that comes up closer so you can get your tickets. And for booth space, all you need to do is contact our office. And we will email you the booth registration form and the layout so you can even pick your spot. All right. Now, do you have any information on who some of the various speakers for that forum will be? I do not. The committee has not released that yet, but I do have the theme for this year. Okay. And the theme is Hats Off to Simplicity. Hats Off to Simplicity. I have that same theme at my program every day. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's great. Now, along with the photos about Minicasha and the upcoming Women's Forum, real quick, i got about 30 seconds left. Anything else? Nope, that's pretty much what we have going on right now and what we're really concentrating on. Okay, how did you get roped into this today instead of Kay? She had some meetings to attend. And so you drew the short straw. Yes. Well, you did a very nice job. Thank you so much for being on the program. Heather at the Minicasha Chamber of Commerce, and if they have questions, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. You can stop by our office on, at 1177 7th Street in Hayburn. Or give us a call at 679-4793. There you go. Thank you very much, Heather. Have a great day. You too. All right. Thank you much. Very nice lady right there at the Minicasha Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Hey, we're going to have another guest on in just a moment. Stand by. Don't forget, let's ride 270 Highway 24 between Rupert and the world. I'm telling you, that is where the fun is sold. You know what? Right now, sure, I'd like to tell you about all the ATVs, which they have a great abundance of on their showroom floor, but I want to stress the fact about getting your already owned ATVs serviced and ready to go for the spring. Whether it's your ATVs, your dirt bikes, your boats, whatever, make sure that you call and get an appointment with the service department over there at 436-4771. That number again, 436-4771. Hey, they can help you because that's where the fun is sold. Let's ride. 270 Highway 24 between Rupert and the world. Right now, I'm really looking forward to this interview because uh, I know Kyle James really well. And he and his family started up the urgent care in Burley and then Jerome. And now we're going to be talking about a great big grand opening of the urgent care in Twin Falls. And it's going to be happening next Monday morning. And with us on the phone right now is Dr. Conrad that's going to tell us all about it. Good morning, Dr. Conrad. How are you? Good. How are you, Zeb? Not too bad. Well, now, tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Conrad, so we can all know more about you. Well, Zeb, I'm a, I'm a local boy. I was born and raised in Burley, um, and I've been practicing in the area for 20 years. 
I had a uh, family practice in Rupert and then have also been practicing uh, emergency medicine. And about two years ago, got involved with the urgent care there in Berkeley, the Riverview Urgent Care. And since that time, that I've found my calling. That that has been the most fun and and the type of medicine I've really enjoyed doing. Well, I can tell by the enthusiasm in your voice. And let me ask you this: uh, they really have hit a home run with the urgent cares in Burley and Jerome, and now they're going to be opening up next Monday on the 29th. The urgent care in Twin Falls. Give us a little background about this and what the services are that are offered. Well, um, what uh, uh, as you said, we started in uh, in Burley. And it just took off. And after looking at that, seeing the need, and uh, it was um, the, the overwhelming response, we started to look if there were other communities that could also use these services. So our, our next stop was Jerome. And here again, it's been a big success. And um, looking at the population of Twin Falls, it's growing. Uh, and the need that was there, we've decided to make the move to Twin Falls. Okay, now tell my audience, Dr. Conrad, and uh, just a little bit about the concept of urgent cares. I mean, you don't have to have an appointment. You can walk in. It's a lot quicker. It's less expensive. Give us some of those amenities, if you would, please. Yes, and that, that's exactly right, just as you stated. We, what we focus on, we, we call it uh, kind of minor emergency care. Uh, the stuff that pops up that uh, you can't get in to see your uh, physician, uh, you come home, uh, your uh, child's running a fever, uh, complaining of a sore throat, got an uh, ear that hurts, and of course that usually happens at, in the evening. And so those are the types of situations that come up where you want to be seen now and can't get in to see your primary provider, and we all know that emergency room visits are very costly. So mm -hmm. Our concept is, is we're open from uh, 9 in the morning till 9 at night, so having evening hours also open on the weekends, uh, 9 to 9 on Saturday, and then 9 to 3 on uh, Sunday. And you don't need an appointment. You just come in. Uh, we have providers there. We get you in. We get you out quick. And uh, the cost is significantly less than uh, emergency room. It might be just a little bit more than going to your uh, family doctor, uh, but uh, we're competitive. You know, one thing I will say, and please, Dr. Conrad, if I make a misstatement here, correct me on this, but actually these kinds of businesses like Urgent Care of also Burley and Jerome and now the new one in Twin Falls, by the usage of these Urgent Cares, you're actually helping reduce the cost of medical expense because too many people take advantage of the emergency room visit. Wouldn't you agree? I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. That's, that's exactly right. But in a lot of cases, you know, the people didn't have a, an option. And so the emergency room was their only option. We're offering another option. And, and we've actually had really good responses from insurance companies who, um, uh, you know, encourage their uh, clients to use an urgent care rather than the emergency room because it helps lower costs. Now, what about the acceptance of different insurances, Medicaid, Medicare, all that type of thing? All of that's accepted? Exactly. Uh, we try and contract with every insurance company, uh, and to my knowledge, we accept uh, just about every insurance uh, that's out there. There might be some obscure one here or there that we're not contracted with, but even in those situations, we're able to work something out, and uh, we also have what we call our self-pay option, uh, where you, you know you can come in and we'll even uh, offer a discount if it's paid at the time of service. So we can make those services affordable for everyone. Now, minor emergencies, major care. Give us a little explanation on that. Well, um, a minor emergency might be uh, someone who uh, cuts their hand, uh, so they need a you know needle laceration sewed up. They may have gotten something in their eye as they were working out in the wood shop. 
um, uh, those sort of things. Maybe uh, playing basketball, rolled an ankle, not sure if it's fractured or just a sprain. We do have in-house x-ray services at all our locations. So when you come in, we can x-ray that, make sure it's not a fracture. If it is, we can get you to the right people. Um, and then, of course, your illnesses. Uh, someone comes down with the flu, sore throat, ear infection, um, you know, all, all those sort of things. Well, now let's highlight right now in the time remaining what's going to be happening on Monday. And uh, I like what Kyle said. It's a leap into great health year because this is leap year, and you've got a grand opening of the urgent care of Twin Falls. Give us a little background on it, the address, etc. Yes, it is. Um, uh, in Twin Falls, it's on Addison Avenue, and forgive me, I don't know the numbers right now, but it's uh, between the Harley-Davidson dealer and uh, Kmart there in Twin Falls on Addison. Uh, it's where the old Sonic used to be. Uh, and we will be open for business on Monday, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, we are going to have an open house uh, this Friday uh, from 3 to 5 o'clock. For anybody who just wants to come by, see the facility, we won't be seeing patients that day, but we're just kind of showing off the new facility. We'll even have refreshments and uh, let anybody look around that uh, wants to see what, uh, what we are and what we do. You know, I really, I can tell by the enthusiasm in your voice, and I love people with enthusiasm about what they do. You are really excited about this, aren't you? Oh, I can, I can hardly wait. Hardly wait. This is, this is really exciting. Well, I'll tell you, I've got the exact address. It is Urgent Care of Twin Falls, and like Dr. Conrad said, it's right between uh, Kmart and Harley-Davidson, and the address is 2392 Addison Avenue East in Twin Falls. And if they want to call, what's the number over there that they can give you a jingle and find out more? I hope you know because we're so brand new, I don't even know the number. I just happen to have it in front of me. <laughs> it's 933-4440. Well, you know, Dr. Conrad, anything else you want to tell us about urgent care? Because I tell you what, I think this is a great innovative idea for the future to help people. Yes, the, the other thing I might mention is all of our locations... Uh, we have uh, we offer workers uh, compensation or uh, work comp injuries. So any employers that have uh, some kind of a minor emergency, an injury of an employee, uh, we work real well for that because they can send the um, employee in right then. Don't have to wait. Uh, we can get them taken care of. Get them back to work and at a reduced cost. So that's another service we offer. I tell you what, you've got to promise to come back more often. I need more smiling good people like you on the air. Thank you, Dr. Conrad, with Urgent Care of Twin Falls and also Burley and Jerome. Thank you for being on the program. Thank you, Zeb. I appreciate it. All right. God bless. That grand opening is going to be Monday. Urgent Care of Twin Falls, 2392 Addison Avenue, East and Twin, right by Kmart and Harley-Davidson. You can't miss it. If you do, you shouldn't be driving anyway. But anyway, go in there for the grand opening. going to be a great, great deal. Thank you very much. Oh, i got to pay some bills. Uh, don't forget our friends at Cameron and Siemens Insurance Highway 24 in Rupert. Number to call, 436-4424. Life insurance, health insurance, retirement planning. That's something you better talk about, folks. I'm telling you, it's very serious. I don't care if you're 30 or if you're 40 or if you're 65. You better make sure you know where you are or where you want to be. Employee benefits, they can help you with all of that at Cameron and Siemens. Siemens Insurance. Yep, accessible and devoted to serving you, Cameron and Siemens Insurance. Easy to find, Highway 24 going into Rupert. Number to call for an appointment, do it, 436-4424. Really, really nice people. Oh, my goodness, in just a moment... We're going to have my old buddy, Kennel Ken, on the air, and we're going to talk about dogs over at Minidoka Animal Control. Stand by, but I also want to take just a moment, if I can, and tell you all about pests. No, I'm not talking about the two-legged pests. I'm talking about all the stuff that crawls around you, mice and the voles and all the bugs and everything. Well, you'd better call my buddy Kevin at Certified Pest Control. Now, I said this the other day, and I'm going to stand behind it. That dude really knows what's going on 
down with pests and gets rid of them. We contracted with him to help fight our voles and our mice problem. Adios, amigo, they're gone. He did a wonderful job. And he can also do the same on killing weeds and making sure your trees are safe with the insecticides and the dormant oils. Hey, you call him today. Good guy. 219-7576. Certified Pest Control. You get a hold of them right now. Well, where in the world all these dogs come from anyway? They're all over this doggone office this morning. Holy mackerel. Get the Doberman. And then there's a little beagle over in the corner. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Here comes Kennel Ken at Minidoka Animal Control. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Zeb. How are you today? I don't know yet. It's not 6 o'clock. I hear you there. I'm going to hold off on my opinion. Sounds good to me. All right. Don't leave me hanging, Mort. Talk to me. <laughs> well, today we want to feature Caesar. He is Caesar. A bulldog cross. Uh-huh. Approximately two to three years old. Okay. He weighs just over 70 pounds. How much? Just over 70. He weighs 70.4 pounds. A fat little bugger. Yep. Uh, I mean, and he's, he's actually, uh, when I'm standing up next to him, his head hits about the uh, lower part of my knee. Oh, he's not that tall either. He's not that tall. He's, he's like I say, he's the, he's of the uh, bulldog breed. He's kind of like some of the kids you used to play baseball with when I was your coach. They were kind of low to the ground and heavy too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's standing right. He is a great dog. He loves to play. Loves kids. He's okay with cats. Uh, he sees one of the stuff. Uh, if it moves too quickly on him, he'll kind of run over and hide behind you. I see. Uh, he's not good with other alpha male dogs, though. He does not like uh, large male dogs. Uh-huh. Uh, he has uh, does have some uh, scars on his face and legs, but according to the vet, uh, from what he could tell, it was from uh, laying a lot on concrete uh uh, concrete pads. I see. And everything, and it, it scarred himself up. Oh. Uh, he knows the basic commands. Is a super dog. Uh, he was he was found with a collar, but no tags. Uh, matter of fact, the Rupert Police Department brought him in on Friday late evening because uh, he was uh, he showed up to some people's house and just started playing with their kids. And we've had him since. Uh, he uh, we had uh, Pause for Hope Rescue uh, went and paid to have him vetted. He's been neutered and has had his rabies shot as of February 23rd of this month. And uh, they were hoping by doing that that we'd be able to, it would help uh, find him a great home. And that's, so if anybody's interested in him, they can contact us at 438-2200. Contact me on my cell phone at 670-7268. Or can contact Deb Hines with Habern's Animal Control at 670-4348. And his name is Caesar. Yes. Caesar. Okay. Now, is he a house dog or strictly an outside dog? Uh, he seems to be. He seems to be pretty well house trained. What do you mean, pretty well? Define pretty yeah, well. If you're left in too long on that, nope, don't you don't let him out. Then he will make a mess, or he will have a uh, have a little accident. Well, that's the same with all of us, Mort. Oh, I, I hear you. <laughs> but I mean, he's uh, if you're right there and he needs to go out, you let him out, and he goes does his business, and then he wants back in. I mean, he'd. He'd make a great, uh, great house dog as well. Other than uh, you wouldn't want him up on your lap. Well, at seventy pounds, you'd end up in the quick care. I'll tell you, man. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. No, but now I want to make this clear, though. What kind of a diet should you keep a dog like that on? Um, we actually, uh, you want to watch your uh, your the amount of protein. Uh, and that's a, and fat that's in the dog foods yeah. uh, when you're when you're purchasing those. It's like we get a lot of dog food donated to us that is really high in protein because we do get a lot of dogs that come in that are on the thin side. Right. But yet at the same time we get uh, we get stuff that's been donated that has uh, is on the lower side uh, more for like what they call senior uh, that doesn't have as much uh, uh, protein and fat in it as what the, what the other the more active type stuff is. So we just uh, we feed a little or feed a little bit of that uh, to, so that they're not continuing to gain so much weight. Okay. Now, you, did you say, pardon me, but do you think he is a registered, papered bulldog? Is that what you said? No, he's he's not uh, he's not registered or, or papered or anything. Oh. He actually, you can tell in his picture that he is a mix. 
He looks like a, possibly a mix of a, of a bulldog and maybe a little bit of a, a boxer type. Oh. I mean, he's not quite as tall as the, as the boxer. Okay. But he's practically all tan with a white chest and a little bit of black on his uh, on his muzzle. Okay. And when you look into his eyes, you just want to melt because he's got those sad puppy dog eyes like, just take me and love me. Oh, doggone it. You're going to make me drive over and pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> what else he, is... He'd make, he make you a good dog, and he also knows how to load up into the back of a truck. How does he get that short, fat, squatty frame up into the back of a truck? I was actually shocked. I opened up the back of my uh, animal control truck and uh, I had to take him into the vet to get vetted. And he just jumped right up in there. I, I think most of his weight is coming from uh, the, he's real muscular. I can imagine here's Mort missing next week's program for lifting that dog all week. He goes into the hospital for a hernia or something. <laughs> Good possibility. <laughs> They have to have a, lift or a weightlifting belt and stuff for the job now. There you go. Hey, real quick, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. They can get a hold of us at 438-2200. My cell phone at 670-7268. Or Deb Hines with Habern's Animal Control at 670-4348. You love your job, don't you? Yes, I do. I tell you what, now that dog sounds really intriguing. i got to check that one out. Is this uh, information on Facebook? It is. Um, if, if you want, I can uh, go in there and I can tag your page on it. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Thanks. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Officer Ken Mort, Minidoka Animal Control. Where did all these dogs come from anyway? Uh, there you go. Good friend of mine, good buddy, Ken Mort, Minidoka Animal Control. Check out Caesar today. He's looking for a home. Yes, sir, Bob. Hey, don't forget to Red Trading Post at 203 Fifth Avenue South in Twin Falls. They have been in Old Town Twin Falls since 1936. That's right, 1936. And a great large selection of new firearms from Browning Beretta, Weatherby, Ruger Benelli, Smith & Wesson, Winchester, all the ammo, all the accessories. They got all the knives, all the holsters, all the gun cleaning kits. They've got the hard to find powder for the reloaders. It's all there, along with very, very experienced people helping you at Red Trading Post, 203 Fifth Avenue South in Twin Falls. Well, you know who's coming up next. She is a mainstay of our program on Thursdays, and we say good morning to the lovely Rita Ramsey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am not too bad. Rita, wow. Where do we start first this morning? There's just absolutely a list a mile long as to what we can talk about. First thing I want to ask you about is this, and I talked a little bit about it last hour. I honestly fear what the GOP establishment is going to do at the convention. I think they're going to do anything they can to stop Trump. They're going to probably draft someone at the convention. They're going to make it a three-way race, Trump, Hillary, and whomever. And boy, that's going to just jettison Hillary right into the White House. Do you disagree with me? Well, I kind of do, because I, I just can't imagine them being blamed enough to think that if Trump were really to win as many of the, of the uh, primary races that he, you know, that he's projected by lots of people to win, that, that he wouldn't have enough delegates that would put him over the top and they would have to go by that. Their big strategy is, is they're trying, they're hoping that he won't have enough and they can butt in because he doesn't have enough. So if he were actually to win the, the majority of the primaries, like, like everybody's saying, oh, well, he's just going to run the table, he's going to run, he's going to win every one of them, they would have to let him because they would have no, no other choice. They're hoping that they can have a brokered convention because there's enough other people that have won delegates that they can say, hey, you know, you don't have an, you don't have enough, and so the rules are, and here it is, if you don't have X amount, then we can go in and, and uh, make a deal. 
Isn't it, in your opinion, it is mine, I'll tell you right up front, that the GOP has been very phony and very plastic about this Donald Trump running for president? Because initially when the man ran, they started waving this document in front of him saying, ah, 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 if you're going to run on our ticket, we want to guarantee in your signature that you're not going to jump ship and go as an independent. They did everything they could to make him jump through the hoops, but now he's not getting the support vice versa from them. Am I wrong? No, that's exactly what happened. Um, the, the, the very biggest problem is, is that the GOP wants to have it their way, and, and they don't want the people to have it the way that they want it. In other words, we the people don't have a voice as far as the GOP establishment is concerned. They're, they're saying, hey, you know, you're going to take who we say you are going to take, and that's going to be it. And, and meanwhile, they don't care whether they have a leadership position or not, just so that they have their jobs and, and can keep poking money into their pockets. It's all a money thing. And they're at the, they're at the point where they're really actually willing to give up power. They, they aren't even concerned about the power. If you, if you look at the majority of the Congress and the Senate, it's kind of like, well, you know, we don't really care if we have to make decisions or not. Just as long as we can keep our job and keep poking money in our pockets, we're good. You know, I'm sure that you do agree with me on this. I am, I've been in this business now for basically about 45 years. And I've had this talk show for probably about 17 years. But the, every year that goes by, I just sit back in awe and amazement as to the calloused, very ego-centered attitude that our politicians have developed into now, this year, 2016, to where they forget about the first three words of our Constitution, we the people, and it seems like it's a good old boys club, and I, for one, have had enough, and I'm ready to clean house with a big broom. Well... That's, that's really true. The biggest problem that we've got is that we need to, instead of having the same thing happen, and this is what will happen if Trump gets in, is we're not going to have any different than we had in 2009 when we got Obama. And the deal is, is that everybody is so mad that they're just going to settle for anybody that's not a politician. They haven't looked at who Trump is and what he stands for. He is still in favor of single-payer insurance which is obamacare he's a defender of planned parenthood he has actually said and and i have a quote and this happened in um well this was actually last you know the last few days that he was asked well he was asked in uh, regarding nevada about the federal lands and and he he responded saying well you know that's ted cruz he says he, that you know that i want to do this and that and the other but he says I want to keep the fed I'm backing the federal government to keep the land that's owned by the federal government. In other words, he is not in favor of letting the lands go back to the states. So there's a number of items that 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 uh, patriots ought to be looking at and ought to be doing their homework and finding out who this guy really is. I would guess, and I know there's been a lot of criticism brought upon Ma Romney because he said, hey, tell Trump to put his tax records out there because he thinks that you'll be able to see what really has happened. He's, he needs to do those just like everybody else does. But I think that a lot of Trump supporters are just so mad and so angry that they're willing to take anybody. And that anybody is Donald Trump at this point. And if we get Donald Trump, we are in for the same problem as we had before. We're not going to be going by the Constitution, because that's not what he's touting. All right, but I'm going to have to add this as an addendum to your last uh, little speech. I still... Even though I have never come out and backed Donald Trump, and there's a lot of holes in his screen door, I still would support him tooth and tongue 100% over Hillary. Your thoughts? I would support any of them who are running over Hillary. One of the big problems is, is that, that polls are showing, and how good they are, I don't know. But it shows that Trump is the one who can't beat Hillary. So... You know, everybody's just thinking, well, let's just get him in there and he'll do it. Well, it's going to be so split that and and there there will be some big problems that they're showing that he can't beat Hillary. Anybody is going to be better than Hillary or Bernie. 
But I still am just on that stupid conspiracy fence that I don't think that it's going to be Hillary or Bernie because of the baggage with Hillary and the Bernie thing is not going to work out and the Democrats know it. And I think they're going to be the ones with the brokered convention and will put in who they want. Okay. Now, I, I don't know if you were listening first hour or not, but I, I was shocked the other day, yesterday, and again this morning when they ran the news clip of Hillary in a question and answer session getting totally discombobulated and confused about the verbiage in our Constitution versus the verbiage in our uh, Declaration of Independence. And then after it was all done and she'd made the faux pas her handlers came out and said oh well she just got confused in the heat of the moment wait a minute wait a minute rita this woman has grown up in politics this woman has been around everything with old bubba bill and everything else confused about our constitution do you buy that um, actually, I think the big problem is is that she is so used to not even paying attention to the Constitution. And the Declaration of Independence is like, oh, those are just a bunch of old records. I don't know why I'd pay any attention to them. We're, we're really for the progressive stuff, you know, the new stuff and all the new things. And we should have new rules instead of going by the real law of the land and that kind of thing. So I guess I can... Say maybe she really was confused, but the reason she's confused is because she is not a student of the Constitution, and she no more studies it or falls behind it or says, you know, those are the things that we need to be going by than fly to the moon, and that's why all of a sudden it just popped out that she, this and that and the other, and oh shoot, it was just a gaffe. Well, it's because she's not... It's not important enough to her to be familiarized with it to where it would just come out that that was a familiar thing and, and this is what we should do now tonight another debate now I've had enough, okay? I've already been saturated to the point where I'm sick of it. Now, this debate tonight, I hope, and maybe you won't agree with this, I would love to see two or three just go by the wayside, called at the gate, and go to the sale yard. I am sick and tired of having this many voices all this time. I think it's got to be narrowed down for some obvious reasons. What are your thoughts? Well, I feel that way myself. However, I think that sometimes because of the nature of the beast and that this has been going on for two years now, we are fed up with it. But I also know that's why primaries are held. If, if we were ready to just have one guy who's going to run the tables, there's 47 states that won't even get to vote and shouldn't even get to because there's no choice. And so it's kind of like I, I kind of feel like that we just need to probably be patient and let them do their thing and see what happens if um, if Kasich and, and Carson don't come in with any more than about 5% like they've had in the last two or three times it, it would behoove them to, to get out of it but apparently they've still got a little money and and they've got enough support that they feel like that they will will do okay and and you know that's why you have the that's why you have the primary. So yes, I'm sick and tired of it, and I wish that all the Republicans would get behind one or two and then decide. But I just don't see it happening. Okay, but do you expect any major changes tonight in the debate? Uh, let's just use Cruz and Rubio, or maybe Kasich, or maybe Carson. I mean, Kasich and Carson. I think you will agree with me. Is that they're they're like little kids in the waiting pool trying to swim with the big people. It's just not going to happen. Do you agree? Well, I think so. Um, I don't know. You know, when you when you have a passion about things, you 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 get out there and you just do it until you die, I guess. And and uh, Dr. Carson is such an amazing person, and he is totally, totally in this race to save our country. I mean, he is like, this is what I want to do. I'm so worried for our country. And Kasich, I think he's just kind of, oh, I, I can do anything I want to do because I've got Fox at my back and I've got, uh, got Ohio and we're the biggest state, so I can just name my, my position. And um, I would almost wonder if he's trying to name his position as uh, vice president, hopeful, rather than anything else because he's from Ohio and he's fairly popular there. So I, I really think that Dr. Carson and Kasich really probably need to get out, but 
On the other hand, if that's what they want to do, okay, fine. It's just just dragging along. Okay, but I'm going to say this, and again, I'm opening myself up for criticism. <clears throat> I have talked to many people all across the United States, many people. And whether it's Washington, D.C., Florida, Texas, California, it doesn't make any difference. And here is a kind of a uh, combination of what they've said all wrapped into one. One of the things that is a negative about Dr. Ben Carson, and it has nothing to do with his viewpoint on various subjects, it has nothing to do with the way he uh, conducts himself as a true professional, it's his delivery. I think every single person I've asked about Ben Carson, they said he's too slow in his delivery, and it seems like he's almost halting and thinking about what he's going to say instead of just letting it flow and being more dynamic. Do you think that's true? Actually, I think it is. And I'll tell you one other thing. Would you have anybody besides him as your bedside doctor explaining what the problem was? I mean, he's just so good at that. But he isn't a slick politician, and he doesn't know how to hurry and get in things. And he does measure his speech so that they don't make fun of him and say, he's just an idiot, he doesn't know what he's doing. I, I do, I think, he's, I think he's really, really measured in what he says. But on the other hand, I imagine that he would have been one of the best bedside doctor manner people that you would ever want. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. And then when you mentioned Kasich, uh, I think he's a very sincere person, but in the last couple of days, Rita, if you've been following some of the news bites and clips of what he's been saying, he almost sounded like he was resigning himself to take a position in the administration and not really be presidential. Well, I think, I think that's exactly right, and, and like I said, I really think that he's just hoping that he can get the VP bid for any, with anybody because he can bring Ohio to him, and, and you're not going to win the presidency if you don't win Ohio, and that's, you know, that he's like, hey, you know, I've got this up here, and you aren't going to be able to do it without me, so put me in wherever you want, and I really do think that that's his, uh, you know, his objective. We're going to take a short break for the weather and be back, and I'm going to talk to Rita about refugees in just a second. Stand by. Here's Gina with the weather. Today and tomorrow going to be nice, but Saturday, not so much. Here's your weather forecast for Zebit the Ranch. Looks like sunny skies for today. A little bit on the breezy side, not too bad. Winds out of the northeast right around 8 miles an hour. High of 53 is what we're expecting for today. Tonight, low of 29. Tomorrow, gorgeous. Mostly sunny skies, high close to 60. Winds out of the east right around 11 miles an hour. Expect an overnight low of 36. Now, Saturday, everything is going to change. Winds going to be picking up to about 30 miles an hour, so we'll probably be in a wind advisory for Saturday. Morning rain showers as well. Expect a high of 50 with an overnight low of 32. Partly cloudy and 57 for Sunday with winds dying down. And then, of course, on Monday, winds picking up again to about 25 miles out of the west. Partly cloudy and 46. Yesterday's high was 48, and the overnight low was 24. That's your weather for Zebeth Ranch. Thank you very much, Gina, the weather gal, doing a great job. Rita, you know my stand on this program for a long time has been anti-refugee for many, many reasons. I am not opposed to helping people. I am not opposed to getting people back on their feet. But I see a anti-cultural uh, division coming up to where the more refugees we bring into this area or anywhere, the more more we're going to see a clash of cultures and a clash of societies, especially with the Muslims coming into this country and the worries about not being vetted. It seems like our Times News, our College of Southern Idaho, and now the City Council seemingly always backing more refugees. Can you give me a good reason why or tell me how wrong I am? No, I don't think that you're wrong, and I think that it's really sad, and the saddest part is that there aren't enough people out there screaming and hollering, saying, we don't want to do this. There needs to be tons and tons of people letting the people in Twin Falls County and City and at CSI know that they are going down a road that is going to be dangerous. I read an article this morning where over half of the jobs in 
the UK um, were given to immigrants with parentheses around it. And um, and it, it's basically the refugees that are coming in. And so what they're doing is they're actually letting the, the refugees come in and take these jobs because they'll work for nothing. And, uh, and other people are out of, out of work. And that's what will happen here as this refugee program starts stepping up because we're already doing it with, with not uh, obeying the, uh, the, the immigrant thing, which is, okay, you're going to be here legally and that's it. Instead, we're just letting anybody come in and then we're going to bring in a bunch of refugees who will actually be here under a program that is approved by the federal government. So they're here legal, but they're going to change our culture and they're going to they're going to make it so that we have a lot more unemployment of those who are here and should be working. And if we have to have um, unemployment at those rates, or if or if it's a difference between okay, you're going to have unemployment, or we're going to start working for lower wages, one or the other, neither one's a good choice. But that's what's going to happen, and it's just going to be a bad deal for everybody. And the Times News. And the people in this community that have not banded together and said, okay, you're going to hear our voice because there's tons of us, it's really a sad deal. I go to those meetings down in Twin Falls, and we'll have 30 or 40 people. And, um, you know, you can talk about it here, but I've not had a bunch of people clamoring saying, well, when, when are the meetings? When can we go? Let's get together and go and protest at the, at the city meeting that was last week or any of that kind of stuff. People just don't care because they're comfortable in their own little chair, and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that, or I'm too busy. Let me... And it's going to be to our detriment that we have not participated in in had, having our voice heard. Let me say this, and I don't think there's... Uh, I'm not trying to put myself in an ego-centered spotlight to where I'm building myself up. It's just that I'm going to be honest, and I'm not going to be worrying about stepping on any toes. One of the concerns I have, and again, you can tell me I'm wrong, is uh, the company called Chobani in Twin Falls, and the owner, who is a Muslim, and he has made the quote that he wants to hire a lot more Muslim refugees for his business. And so with Chobani and the ties to Twin Falls and the, the good old boy network, there, I think, is another increased reason as to why the Times News CSI and everybody is just saying, oh, this is great. Let's bring them in. Well, absolutely. And um, I did some uh, background checking on the owner of the Chobani guy. He's the son of a goat farmer, and he went to college over in Turkey. And all of a sudden, he decided he wanted to get a better education, so he came to New York University. And, and when he got there, he just came up with this, oh, I can make better yogurt than they make here. And, and uh, within six years, he's a multimillionaire and have all this federal money uh, you know, he headed towards him, and Twin Falls offers him a package that he can't can you know can't just pass up. And we're going to build it there. And I mean, it was all planned because in 2010 he was in Turkey, and now all of a sudden he's a multimillionaire in America. And it was it was the plan, I think, of the Obama administration and those Muslim Brotherhood people to find somebody that that they could to bring over here and, and start some Muslim business and, and get it going. I'm not opposed to the Muslims. I'm opposed to the way that they want to do what they're doing, which is infiltrate our country and start changing our, our uh, culture over from the, the liberty and freedom that we have and being one English-speaking nation to, well, we're going to do this and this is our culture and you stay out of it and leave us alone and and they multiply like rabbits and they will overtake us. We have to be at this juncture very careful in the United States of America and I mean this. We have been in the past a melting pot of people coming in from all points of the compass. They came here for the reason of trying to share in the American goal and the American dream. Today, we don't know because of a very, very sleazy and sloppy vetting process who many of these people are or what their main 
main motives are for coming to this country. You can call me a hate monger, you can call me a bigot, but right now also call me being very cautious because I think in this day and age of terrorism and people that want to take that red, white, and blue flag down forever, I think we should err on the side of caution. Well, the, the reason that we were a melting pot was because we screened who came in, we welcomed them if they were going to come in and work on their own, they weren't going to be trying to depend on the federal government to help them, they didn't have disease and stuff, that's what Ellis Island was all about, was screening those, welcoming the ones who wanted to come in here and who wanted to have a chance at, at building a life. But that's not what we have now. We don't have Ellis Island. We don't screen anybody. We have open borders. We let whoever wants come in here. We don't know who they are. And the majority of them are not here to assimilate in and make America a better place. And that's the whole problem is, is we've got to the point of where we won't say, you know what? We need to change our immigration policy, and we really do. It needs to be changed so that it doesn't take 10 years for somebody that wants to come here and make a life to come in and do that. But we have open borders to where they can come and do whatever they want. They can just latch on to the, the welfare cheat, and everything's fine. And they just keep dragging us down further and further and further, and our system is going to be totally broken, and it can't take care of those who we really should be taking care of. i got to run, Rita. I've only got about 15 seconds left. Real quick, what's going on with the Tea Party? Real fast. Well, that's a good question. It kind of depends on how the elections turn out, whether we'll have a Tea Party anymore or not, because if we elect Donald Trump... The Tea Party has been all in vain for the last eight years, and I'm tired of it. So okay. I'll talk to you about it next time. All right. Rita, I love you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. God bless okay. you. Thanks for being on the okay. show. Rita Ramsey every Thursday right here on Zeb at the Ranch. Oh, boy. I get to talk about something I really like to talk about right now. Food. Yep, I'm hungry. How about let's go to Taco Bandito if you're hungry and starving to death. 2301 Overland in Burley. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, the coffee's always on. Have you been over there and had that breakfast burrito? Oh, scrambled eggs, bacon, or sausage. And you can have both the bacon and sausage if you wish. Cheese, onions, tomatoes, and that special sauce. It's delicious. And try any and all of the menu choices because it is great. At Taco Bandito, 2301 Overland. Overland in Burley. How about let's go to Stevo's, 290 South, 600 West of Hayburn. Food made the way you love it. Oh, my goodness. They've got buffalo burgers. Yes, sirree, Bob. They are good. Fresh hand cut, either steak fries or regular fries. Oh, those are good. How about Stevo's nacho fries topped with cheese and jalapeno peppers? Oh, my goodness. You're going to love the food at Stevo's, 290 South, 600 West of Hayburn. How about two locations of burgers, etc.? 124 South Oneida in Rupert and 700 Overland in Burley. And you know what? Hamburgers only 99 cents and cheeseburgers only a buck 29 after 3 p.m. I'm not kidding. Different soups every day and every Sunday a shrimp dinner special at the Burley store. Burgers, etc. On Oneida and Rupert and Overland in Burley. And let's not forget the AC drive in at 601 East Main in Burley. Mm -mm. Have you tried that chicken? and fried steak sandwich. How about with an order of fries and that special sauce and maybe any flavor milkshake you want? Oh, it's good at the AC Drive-In. And I'm telling you what, the famous Farmer Brown Burgers, too. Try it today at the AC Drive-In, 601 East Main in Burley. And last but not least, El Caporal, 610 North Overland. And buddy, that is good eating over there, let me tell you. Whether it's lunch, dinner, drinks, parties, Celebrate whatever the occasion. You're going to love these folks. And uh, for over six years, El Caporal has been providing amazing Mexican food at great, great prices. You're going to love it. Stop in. Ladies' night is on Wednesdays. Margarita's only two for one. Woo! I'm telling you, it's good at El Caporal, 610 North Overland in Burley. And those are a few great places to go if you're hungry and starving to death. I've got a call. i got 30 seconds, caller. Real fast. Go. Yes, good morning, Zeb. Uh, with this invasion of uh, 
barn is in here, I'm afraid this country is going to be divided into many different countries. The handwriting's on the wall. I agree with you, Tony. Thank you for your call. i got to run to the news right now. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Zeb at the Ranch. Make sure you're hearing everything. Get a hold of Mount Harrison Audiology for a hearing screening, 312-0957. We'll be back in six minutes. Don't go away. Good morning, and our number three, Zeb at the Ranch. I'm Zeb Bell, and thank you very much to our major, major sponsor of our show, your Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers, all seven locations, really, really nice people serving you. Stop in and see them today. And along with some of our great advertisers like Western Way Services, always at your disposal, call Get on the Route Service, 734-6969. Um, we've got Cache County School Days coming up in just a few moments. But before that, I want to remind you about Doug's Alternator and Starter Repair, 635 21st Street, Al Fresco Road in Hayburn. You bet used to be called Ted's Diesel Electric Service. Now, now, Doug's Alternator and Starter Repair. Same great service, just a different name. Doug can rebuild starters, alternators, and generators. He can fix everything from lawnmowers to choo-choo trains. Doug's Alternator and start a repair in Hayburn. Uh, by the way, I've got a couple of notes I need to get on here real quick. Do not forget this Saturday, the great big chili cook-off and chili feed that is free at Magic Valley Tires Les Schwab in Paul with my good buddy Max and the whole crew. They're going to judge the chili at around 1030 and then start serving the chili and delicious cinnamon rolls at about 11 o'clock all the way till 2. If you want to enter the chili contest, get a hold of Max over there at 438-8444. That's coming up this Saturday. By the way, too, great big bull sale coming up on March 5th. This is, beyond a doubt, one of the premier bull sales in the country. And it's uh, going to be, of course, with bulls from the Sheridan Ranch up in uh, the Alamo area. I'll tell you what, Cordell and Patty Sheridan, they know good cattle. They have good cattle, and they're going to be selling good cattle. You better believe it. Sheridan Ranch bull sale, and it's going to be March 5th. Sales starting at 1 p.m. at the Burley Livestock Sale Yard in Burley. Lunch provided at noon. They're going to be selling about 85 head of bulls and free delivery up to 300 miles. So for more information, please call 824-5531. Cordell and Patty Chardon, great people. Chardon Ranch Bull Sale coming up on March 5th. Don't forget it, okay? Got you covered on that. Uh, Another note that I want to mention, and I'll say this again in just a little bit, is that uh, at 1130 today will be Lunch Bunch at Denny's Restaurant. Please come on over. Everybody at Lunch Bunch today is going to get a special Valentine treat. Ho, ho, ho. What is it? Well, I'm not going to tell. And uh, we want to wish everybody that uh, comes to Lunch Bunch, we're going to have door prizes, compliments uh, with gift certificates from Walmart and Handsome Mortuary. So we'll see you there at 611 Overland in Burley at 11.30 this morning. You better believe it, Lunch Bunch at Denny's Restaurant. Don't miss it. I have been really blessed on this program um, that we have some great, great sponsors and great, great segments. And uh, the next segment we're going to get into this morning is Cash County School Days. And I want to say thank you to two very, very great businesses in the area. First off, A Child's World at 1308 Overland and Burley. Spring is coming. I love the optimism. And they've got wonderful spring clothes that have arrived. And they've got... uh, a great place for birthday presents and everything is always gift wrap free don't forget that at a child's world and they also carry the Cherokee scrubs and the shoes and all other items at a child's world and then along with the child's world of course ambulatory surgery center at 1344 Highland Avenue in Burley number to call and number to remember 677-8888 and believe me life saving colonoscopies and 
foot and knee surgery, all the outpatient surgeries, and they can help you save money. Please remember that. The Ambulatory Surgery Center at 1344 Highland Avenue in Burley and A Child's World bringing you school days in Cache County. Right now with us on school days is a young lady that's the special ed teacher at Raft River Elementary School, Jaylynn Tuckett. Hello, Jaylynn. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Not too bad. Have you been on my program before? Nope, I have not. This is your first time, huh? My first time. Well, don't be nervous. Just take a great big breath of fresh air, and here we go. What do you do over at Raft River Elementary School? Well, I am a special education teacher from preschool up through eighth grade. So I work with about, I have about 27 kids on my caseload. So I work with them, and then I have some great paraeducators who also work with them and we just kind of see where our kids are and make up goal make goals for them so that they can become proficient and work with them so that they can learn the things they need to know all right now Jalen, you have a beautiful soft voice but sometimes it might be a little soft so pretend you're getting mad at your <laughs> are, are you married I am married. All right, pretend you're yelling at your husband when you talk to me, okay? (laughs) Okay. All right. Now, special ed teacher, what does that mean? Well, it means that um, my main focus that I like to focus on for my kids is I want to make sure that they can read. Because to me, I feel like if they can read, then everything else is accessible to them, especially... You know, with this new math program and everything, there is a lot of reading in every subject. So that is one of my passions, is to make sure that they can read. But um, we do, we have referrals if there's a child um, in a classroom that doesn't seem to be um, getting the material and they do interventions and it doesn't seem to be working. We do some testing to find out um, if the child does have a disability. Um, If they do... Um, they will be qualified for special education and depending on you know if it's math or reading um, they just get some special intervention and some special time that they can work with another teacher to help them um, to get proficient in whatever they're lacking in. Let me ask you this Jalen, and I think you'll agree with me that there are a wide array of problems that could be associated with a lack of ability to read. Would you agree with that? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Why don't you go through and explain some of those? Well, um, some of it would be, you know, maybe just some holes that they've had. We have some kids who do a lot of moving around And, you know, if they move a lot during kindergarten, first grade, and they have some holes, that makes it really hard once they get to third grade to be able to read. Um, Different learning styles, you know, maturity. Um, Dyslexia, that's a big one, and I've seen a lot more of that in the last little while. I don't know why, but I have seen a lot more of that. Um, Other different processing disorders that makes it difficult. Um, You know, and sometimes kids just don't respond to the type of curriculum we have. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of, there's probably 90%, between 80 and 90% of the students can learn with any type of program that you give them. But there's that 10% maybe that um, needs something different. And so that was kind of my goal. I wasn't really, when I started... I started here as a paraeducator. This is my 14th year, and um, I wasn't really happy with what we had, and so I did a lot of investigating and a lot of reading on different programs to see if I could find something that could help my kids a little better. Now, let me ask you this part of it. Um, You have an after-school reading program to help kids, and like I said, there could be a multiplicity of problems, whether it might be their eyesight, whether it could be a shyness, whether it could be something else that's bothering them, but this after-school reading program really can kind of search out some of the problems, and most of them are correctable, are they not? Yes, they are. They are, and I think probably one of the biggest things is um, to build up their confidence. You know, a lot of times when something's hard, they don't want to do it, and if they're in a big group in their class and they're afraid of saying something wrong, you know, it, it's, 
it makes them a little nervous. When we have these after-school programs or different little groups, um, they have the opportunity to be in a small group setting where other people have, you know, some of the same problems they do. And they can learn some skills and, you know, learn some confidence. Um, I think that's my biggest thing is to give my kids confidence, give them the skills that they need and to make it fun. Because if they've been struggling for a long time, it's not fun for them anymore. So we do a lot of, we play a lot of games um, to make reading fun. But then we also have a little bit of time of instruction to teach them the skills that they need so that they can read the words. Okay. Let me say this, and please feel free to correct me, but when the terminology special ed comes up, a lot of parents go, oh, well, my child doesn't need special education. My child doesn't need this. It's kind of a stigma, but really it's there to help them get back to a period of normalcy, is it not? It is. It is. And, you know, there are some kids that... You know, it might be a little bit more um, severe. They might have a few more problems and and that, you know, maybe they'll be in special education all through 12th grade, but some of them don't. We test every three years, you know, and, and we work and we set new goals and we work hard to teach the skills that they may be missing or teach them a new way to, you know, to do something so that they can figure it out on their own. And so we have, we do, we have a lot of students who after three years or six years, they don't qualify anymore because they've, you know, they've caught up or they've reached where they need to, where they can be successful in the general education class without the extra help. You know, does it surprise you as a teacher and uh, helping students learn to read, doesn't it surprise you when we hear stories on the news of certain great big-named athletes that can't read and they've already left college at 21, 22 years of age or other people in the news? I mean, I'm shocked about some of the people that can't read. I, yes, it just, I can't imagine that they could have gotten through school without that. And, I mean, it's such a disservice to those students just to help them along and to, to get them, you know, through school and graduating if they can't read. And that's been a, a huge passion of mine. I've had, you know, being out in a rural community, I've had a few kids that, well, I'm just going to live on the farm, you know, work on my farm, and I don't need to know how to read. And, you know, I explained to them all the real-life applications of, you know, if you're going to feed your horse, you want to read the instructions on how much to feed them or if there's something in there that's going to hurt them. You know, or if you're selling your hay and you have to sign a contract, you want to be able to read that so people aren't going to rip you off. So, you know, I just I, I try to show my kids, even if they're not planning on going to college or not planning on going into the business world how important it is to read in every aspect of your life you know you just said like i do uh, i'm very very shocked at the amount of people that can make it somehow through elementary high school and college and get a diploma and they can't read a contract for playing basketball or whatever how does this happen today i just don't understand that you know i don't know because you know we have a pretty um we have a lot of kids moving in and out of our school and you know we'll get a child in and you can usually tell within the first week or so you know that hey there's some red flags here and so we start doing some testing and some interventions to try and see what's going on so here at our school and I think in our district we catch it really quick and we take care of it some of these kids that I see that come from bigger schools um, they just I they might just fall through the cracks I've had I had one teacher that I called asking about a student and they said well no we never referred her because she is low but she's not the lowest I have so I think it just kind of depends on you know the different schools and if you do if you have a whole third grade of students who are all below level I guess, you know, it's just hard for them to catch everybody. Well, but I think in our school district, even at our bigger schools in town, I think they do a very good job of making sure that each kid, that we know what's going on with each kid and they're not falling through the cracks. 
but wouldn't you say, though, Jay Lynn, that, and I'm not trying to point my finger always at the parents, but it does fall back on the family. It does fall back on mom and dad. I think they've got to be much more cognizant of what's going on with their, their young son or daughter. They do. They do. And I think that has changed a lot. You know, we have a lot of parents who both work and they get home and they're tired and they don't spend as much time, you know, reading and going over things with their kids. And I think that makes a big difference. You know, we do have parents that they themselves don't know how to read. So, you know, that makes it hard, too, when they can't, when they don't feel like they can do the homework for their children, you know, the homework that their children are doing in elementary school, you know, it makes it hard for them to want to, to want to help and want, and to be able to help. But it is, it's, there is some responsibility on the parents and, you know, we try to make it so it's doable. You know, we don't want them to have to go home and spend three hours in homework and read for an hour. But, you know, if they spend maybe 20 minutes reading or, you know, talking and, and going over things like that, that's pretty doable. You know, I work and and I've had kids and my husband does rodeos and we help with that. But And I know it's hard. I know it's hard to take the time, but it's so important and it's so worth it that if you just take those few minutes. Absolutely. Now, is there anything else, real quick, i got about a minute left that you want to mention about some other great programs up there at Raft River? Oh, gosh. We just do so many wonderful things out here. It's just, I love this school. And like I said, I've been here. This is my 14th year. And we love the kids. And we're always looking for new ideas to help our kids. We um, we went and visited another school about the differentiated learning. And we're working on that to help make sure each kid, the high kids, the median, median kids, and the kids who are a little bit lower, so everybody gets what they need so that they can all learn. And, I'm just really excited. About well, that. you are excellent. The special education teacher, Jaylen Tuckett, up at Raft River Elementary School. I've thoroughly enjoyed having you on the program. Please come back in the future, would you? I will. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Nice, nice lady right there, Jaylen Tuckett, at Raft River Elementary. And, of course, Cash County School Days is brought to you by two wonderful businesses, A Child's World at 1308 Overland in Burley and Ambulatory Surgery Center. Center at 1344 Highland Avenue in Burley. Number to call 677-8888. We are going to go to the phone lines in just a moment and have our next guest on the air. And uh, first and foremost, I want to say, hey, 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 Monday is the great big grand opening of Urgent Care of Twin Falls. Right there at 2392 Addison Avenue East in Twin by Kmart and Harley Davidson. You can't miss it. We had Dr. Conrad on earlier talking talking about it and it's going to be really something great walk-ins no appointments necessary quicker less expensive better options for minor emergencies with major care they can help you and they will don't forget urgent care of twin falls with their big opening coming up on monday the 29th and that is located at 2392 addison avenue east in twin falls let's go to the phone line right now and a lovely lady and they they bring you, I say they, their business brings you the weather every morning when I start this program at 8.06. And, of course, Cheney Flooring and Home Design. Hello, Whitney Cheney. How are you? Hey, pretty good. How are you, Zeb? Not too bad. Hey, somebody told me that you have a brother in politics. Is that right? Oh, yep, I sure do. Kelly. I Kelly bet you're, my brother. you're pretty proud of that old boy, aren't you? <laughs> Yep, he's a pretty good guy. Well, he's doing a great job as being a senator, too, by the way. He is. He's very talented in different things. And then I actually have another brother in Rupert that's an attorney as well. Oh, my goodness sakes. Uh, politicians, lawyers, and people that are involved in beautifying their homes, namely you and your husband. Tell us a little bit about Cheney Flooring and Home Design at 1228 Oakley Avenue in Burley. What's the main theme of your business? Well, the main theme, Zeb, is we're not just here to sell you flooring or carpet. We want to make sure that it's going to look awesome against your cabinets, um, and that, you know, your paint and your carpet, they're all going to flow. We want to make sure that it's the same undertone. Um, so essentially when you're coming in, you're not only getting a product, but you're getting a free design from us. Ah. 
Now, you could take somebody like me, an old cowboy, and you could make me more conscious of what I'm living in and around from my environment? Yeah, you know, we're not here to change your style, though, either. We want to, you know, I would imagine that maybe you have a little more rustic theme going on in your house. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Um, so I just would want to find things that are going to complement your style for the best price. Ah. Well, somebody walks in the door, the blue door at Cheney Flooring and Home Design, and literally you can help them with their carpet, their flooring, kitchen construction, home decor items, literally whatever they need to make their house a home, right? Right. We advertise that, you know, it's it's a one-stop shop where your home design needs are not miles apart, but they're aisles apart. Uh Aha. So if someone comes down there and they say, well, we want to renovate our whole house, and we're going to start with the kitchen, and we want it really different, and they give you certain ideas, but you can kind of lay all that out for them, right? Yeah, I like to kind of pin them down on what their focal point would be. You know, if they have a picture, let's say, like if you had a really... um, meaningful cowboy art picture that you're wanting to center your home around. I would find products that would complement that so you can have this, you know, unified design. I see. Um, If someone comes in also, you know, if they're just saying, I'm just ready to do a a kitchen remodel, I don't have a focal point, um, I help them pin down on what their main what their, I call it their splurge. What's your splurge? And sometimes their splurge is granite, and sometimes their splurge is backsplash. But once we can figure out what that main thing that they're really wanting is, then we can build the design around all of the rest. What is, I've got to ask you this because it just bugs me, uh, when you do a business like yours, I'll bet you you get so many diversified questions about can you do this, that, and the other. What's the most, if you will, weird thing that you've ever heard for the inside of a home that you've uh, tried to fix up? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've had lots of weird questions. Zeb. I'll, I'll tell you, I ha- the one of the weirdest things that I had is someone had brought in a picture from Pinterest, and um, it was a, of some cabinets. And what the, what the person had done is they had cut a cabinet in half and had put it together and, did, and had done some really strange shelving um, in it, and they wanted to know if I could do that. And I'm like, you want me to cut a cabinet in half on you? Oh, my. So we were able to come with a, up with a com- compromise. Um, we did a Lazy Susan cabinet um, with some different shelving in it. I but see. sometimes, you know, people come in with a Pinterest or a Facebook or some picture from the internet and they bring it in and it's really hard to match sometimes because those are so customized Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. now you have an outstanding variety of uh, different uh, flooring too don't you we do and in fact we do all flooring we do sand and steel hardwood um, pre-finished hardwood carpet vinyl tile if you can dream it we have it and if I don't have it here in my hands at the store I can get it you know, how in the world do you and your husband find any free time to sit down and just go, oh, I'm going to relax for about 15 minutes? I don't know, that's how do you? <laughs> well, I'm not nearly as busy as it sounds like with you because, I mean, man alive, I understand every time we've been down there, you've had a great big room full of people. And uh, what are your hours over there at Cheney Flooring and Home Design? So Monday through Friday, we are open 9 until 6, and then Saturdays 10 to 2. But you know what? We have been blessed with some very good um, employees, um, and I think that that's how we're able to step out and have some time with our family. Is it hard? i got to ask you this question real quick before I take the break. Uh, is it hard to learn all about uh, not only interior design, but what really looks good in a home? Um, I think that, excuse me, sorry, Zeb, I think that anybody can learn it, um, What's funny is when I was going to college, Zed, my mom said, you need to go into interior design. And I said, you're crazy. What am I going to do with that in Burley, Idaho? And now um, I've, I have my master's degree in healthcare administration and my bachelor's degree in communications, and I wish I would have gone into interior design. Oh, my. <laughs> but we, we remodeled, my husband and I have remodeled so many homes together, and before we had opened the store, this is what I was doing, is I was going to people's homes and, and helping them with color. So I think um, some people just have a knack for it. But everybody can learn it. Absolutely. You know, Whitney, you're a real breath of fresh air to have on the program, and thank you. And we appreciate your sponsoring our weather. Cheney Flooring and Home Design, 1228 Oakley Avenue in Burley. Look for the blue door. God bless you, and come back soon, would you please? Thanks a ton.
Tons of. All right, take care. Thank you much. All righty. Nice, nice people over there at Cheney Flooring and Home Design. Got to send it back over to Wheels. We'll be back in about three minutes. And now back to Zeb at the Ranch on AM 1230 KBAR. To reach Zeb, call 436-2244 or toll free 1-866-927-4587. And now, here is Zeb Bell. Oh my, we are in the last few minutes of our program today. And when I say that, today is Lunch Bunch Day. And I always take off a little bit early to get out on the highway and get down to Lunch Bunch at Denny's restaurant. I don't like speeding tickets, so I'm going to give myself a little comfort zone. Uh, everybody is going to get a special Valentine treat today at Denny's at Lunch Bunch. Compliments of uh, Deanne and myself and Shoot Two Promotions. And uh, we're also going to have, of course, as you know, many, many door prizes to give away at Lunch Bunch. And our gift certificates, we want to thank Walmart along with Hanson Mortuary for all their help over the many, many months. Thank you very much. So don't forget, Lunch Bunch coming up at 11.30 this morning at Denny's Restaurant. A couple of things that need to be mentioned again, uh, because this is my last time on the air for this week, and uh, I want to mention to you that uh, this coming Saturday, the 27th, oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I keep telling you this, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Chili Cook-Off. And a great big free chili feed at Magic Valley Tires Les Schwab over in Paul with Max and the rest of the crew. Now, the judging for the chili, and by the way, if you'd like to enter your chili, there's still time. Uh, All you have to do is call 438-8444. That number again, 438-8444. And they're going to be giving cash prizes to the top three chilies. It's going to be really a fun deal. And they're going to have the judge. Then at 11 o'clock until 2, they're going to have a a free, free chili feed. And they're going to have all the chilies. And, of course, then they're going to have cinnamon rolls. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Don't miss a minute of it. This coming Saturday, the 27th, starting at 11 at Magic Valley Tires, Les Schwab in Paul. Okay? Got you covered on that. I've got time for a couple of phone calls, and I'd like to hear from you at 436 2244 one 927 4587 I'm going to get on my soapbox here a little bit this morning, and um, I mean this when I say this. I think that now, more than ever before in our nation's history, at least that I recall in my lifetime, We need to pray for America. We need to pray for what's going on in this country and what might happen in this country. I think we're in a mess. Now, there are those of the liberal persuasion that would say, oh, everything's just fine, it's a very equitable situation, and uh, there's no negative impacts on anything. Well, that's a bunch of balderdash. We are in debt over $19 trillion and very possibly looking to 20 to $21 trillion in the not-too-distant future. We have insurrection going on in our streets. We have insurrection going on in our schools. We have a very severe drug problem in this country, which nobody seems to be addressing at the border. And we also have severe crime in our streets. Sleazy politics, and I underline the word sleazy politics, and a cesspool of uh, negative things that are against our culture and our moral values. And no discipline. And so when I say maybe take a moment this weekend, if you're at the church of your choice, or just kneel down and talk to the man upstairs a little bit about help for America. I found a little prayer, and I, I really uh, I like this little prayer, and it was in one of my rodeo publications, and it's called The Not Prayer. I'll read it for you if I can. I'll do it right after this phone call. Caller, go ahead, please. You're on the air. Mr. Bell, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. Thank you. Go ahead, please. 
away, I want to weigh in on just an issue that was in the paper about four or five days ago that I don't think that people uh, really understand. But a week ago last Wednesday night, Declo and Wendell played basketball. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the game, the Declo team and the Wendell team did not shake hands. They just went into the dressing rooms. Well, a gentleman wrote in a letter over the weekend from Wendell stating basically that it was one of the worst sports, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct acts that he's ever seen. Well, I have a son that coached the ninth grade team out of Deklo, and so I immediately called him and I said, what's going on here? And he said that before the game started, because Deklo and Wendell were going to play a best two out of three series, that the coaches had agreed that they would just shake hands after the series was over. I see. Now, I don't know if that's a, you know, I don't know if I agree with that or not, but for anybody that read the paper and was thinking about the Unsportsmanlike Conduct Act, I just wanted to clarify it so that... Uh, people would know that that was a decision made between the two coaches. Okay, but wait a minute, though. I agree with you, and I certainly do appreciate you bringing and shedding light on that subject, but I think you will agree with me that possibly for... What's that in the background, sir? Turn down whatever's in the background if you can. Uh, but I think you will agree with me that it only takes maybe, maybe a minute to two minutes to go down the line, shake hands, and walk to your respective locker rooms. It's not that much of a time consumption. Well, I totally agree with you. I, my opinion was was that, you know, you're a good sport when you win and you're a good sport when you lose, so... You know, you you do that at every game. Absolutely. The team that wins every game. You don't sit there and make this agreement that, hey, you know, after we play three games, if you win one and I win two, that will shake hands. Yeah. And, and, you know. And the other thing is public perception. Somebody picked up on that, evidently, to write that story, that letter to the editor. And public perception sometimes can be a real killer on any subject. And so I'm glad you brought that up. But I urge coaches after every game, and it's only going to take a minute, shake hands, leave the court. Well, well, yeah, and I agree with it, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to call and clarify that what the guy said in the letter. I wanted to clarify yep. so people would know what had happened in that situation, and then they can make their own decision. Absolutely, and sir, I highly thank you for bringing that up. I did catch that, and I was curious about it. And thank you for taking the time to call. Okay, thank you, and you have a good day. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I really wish they'd do the same in football. I know everybody's saying, well, yeah, but you got 40 kids, 50 kids, whatever. Yeah, but you know something I'm not opposed to? Taking the time to make sure that it happens. I just think that we have to create a better sportsmanship aura about what's going on. I mentioned a moment ago that I found a prayer in one of my rodeo magazines, and I want to read this to you, and I think it's one of the nicest prayers that I've uh, seen in a long time. It's called the Knot Prayer. Dear God, please untie the knots that are in my mind, my heart, and my life. Remove the have-nots, can-nots, and the do-nots. Erase the will-nots, may-nots, might-nots that may find a home in my heart. Release me from the could-nots, would-nots, and should-nots that obstruct my life. And most of all, dear God, I ask that you remove from my mind, my heart, and my life all the am-nots that I have allowed to hold me back especially the thought that I am not good enough. Amen. I like that prayer. 
I want to urge everybody to have a really, really good weekend. And it sounds, with the exception of Saturday, that everything is going to be on the up and up, and we should see temperatures into the 50s. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to find out more about the weather with the weather lady, Gina, in just a moment. And it's brought to you by Scarrow's Meats, 331 North Road, Jerome. And they are changing the way we eat one delicious bite at a time. And don't forget it's tax return meat bundle time. You can get at Scarrow's 70 plus pounds of beef and pork and chicken for only $249 plus tax. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's all guaranteed. Uh, delicious. As a matter of fact, they are changing the way we eat one delicious bite at a time. Here now is Gina with the weather. Today and tomorrow going to be nice, but Saturday, not so much. Here's your weather forecast for Zebeth the Ranch. Looks like sunny skies for today. A little bit on the breezy side, not too bad. Winds out of the northeast right around 8 miles an hour. High of 53 is what we're expecting for today. Tonight low of 29. Tomorrow, gorgeous. Mostly sunny skies. High close to 60. Winds out of the east right around 11 miles an hour. Expect an overnight low of 36. Now, Saturday, everything is going to change. Winds going to be picking up to about 30 miles an hour, so we'll probably be in a wind advisory for Saturday. Morning rain showers as well. Expect a high of 50 with an overnight low of 32. Partly cloudy and 57 for Sunday with winds dying down. And then, of course, on Monday, winds picking up again to about 25 miles out of the west. Partly cloudy and 46. Yesterday's high was 48, and the overnight low was 24. That's your weather for Zebeth. Oh, she does a good job, and it's brought to you this hour of the weather by Scarrow's Meats. 331 North Road, Jerome. The number to call, 324-7657. Your hometown meat cutter, changing the way we eat one delicious bite at a time. Scarrow's Meats. Oh, by the way, too, let's not forget our major sponsor. Yes, sir, our major sponsor of our program, your magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers, all seven of them, celebrating the big founders celebration in honor of Mr. Les Schwab. Oh my goodness, what a gentleman he was. And of course, all the tires. They've got all kinds of tires on sale right now, like the Proxus 4 Plus for your passenger cars. It's all season performance, precise cornering and control. You're going to love this one on sale. Don't forget, too, the best in brake service and front end alignment, shocks and struts, batteries. Boy, have they got good batteries. I know that firsthand. And uh, you stop in, but above all, service. They really take care of you. Lane and Rupert, of course, Dave on Blue Lakes and Twin Falls, Mike and Buell, Mike and Jerome, the Twist family and Paul, John on Poline in Twin Falls, and my old buddy the Seahawk fan, Randy on Overland in Burley, your Magic Valley Les Schwab Tire Centers. You stop in and see them today, right now. Get in there. Um, Wheels, are you by the microphone? I am, sir. Ah, you're Johnny on the spot. I saw your finger like a vulture ready to pounce upon that key. I understand. You're going to be there at lunch punch, right? I will be. I will be on my way right after we get done with the show. Okay, and your grandma's going to be there, too. Yes, I'm hoping so. She told me that, uh, she said, uh... Damon, we're going to meet in the same spot, right? I'm like, well, I hope so. I don't want to have to lose you on the way. Now, be honest with me, young man. You didn't say, I hope so, Grandma. I don't want to lose you. You just said, I hope so, Grandma, because I want you to pick up the ticket. <laughs> I uh, I won't disagree, but I like I said, I, I love my grandma being there, and uh, I, I don't know what I'd do if she wouldn't come with me. All right. I'm lonely. <laughs> we will see you there. God bless you, and you've been listening to Zeb at the Ranch. Make sure you're hearing everything. Contact Mount Harrison Audiology for a hearing screening. Call them today at 312-0957. I am going to get on the road, and Wheels is going to play a couple of tunes while I drive slow. Slowly and cautiously to Denny's restaurant for, of course, Lunch Bunch. We'll see you there, and we'll be back next Monday at 8.06. We'll saddle the horse and ride for three hours right here on Zeb at the Ranch. And remember, the way things were are the way things ought to be. Wheels, good job, buddy. See you in about a half an hour. Take care.